Good morning, Crossroads South, and happy Tuesday, December 20th to you. It is Tropical Tuesday today. Um, listen, if you haven't seen Mr. Quilter, you got to check out Mr. Quilter um, and Mr. Vilio. They got a lot of beachy, tropical y stuff going on. I tried my best, but it's also 20 degrees, so I got to have the warm coat on. Speaking of coats, um, you need to have a coat, okay? You need to have some sort of jacket. As the weather gets colder, it's definitely going to be chilly this week and into January and February. We're definitely going to need to have um, warm coats. So make sure that you are taken care of because you never know what happens and um, you don't want to get frostbite or anything like that. So make sure that you are nice and warm. So speaking of today is Tuesday, December 20th. Um, it is an A day today, which means you have red, yellow, green in your A day encores. Um, and yes, that is that schedule. All right. I had a little moment in my brain where it went er, and short circuited. Um, tomorrow is winter pattern Wednesday. Um, and I'd like to go ahead and talk a little bit about sports. So congratulations to our girls black basketball team. They won yesterday on the road. Awesome win for them. Our boys team had a great home opener. Unfortunately, they did not win, but they looked great, especially in the first half. So um, you're back at it today. Um, we're looking forward to hearing more successes from our different sports teams as the time goes on. I would like to say a word about people staying after school. I want to remind you, this should be a reminder, but I'm telling you that your expectations for behavior must be outstanding, even after school. We are in a situation where if you're not behaving after school, if you're disrespecting any adults, if you're not being respectful to the people that are in charge, whether you're on our campus or Crossroads North, you will not be permitted to stay at all, at all for the entire season and possibly the spring season. So be respectful. We're not videotaping kids. We're not doing all of that stuff. Um, the school rules still apply, but there is no, I have no issue with suspending that privilege and not having you stay on campus. Because if we can't trust you to be here on campus and do a good job, then you don't get to be here, period. And for some kids that even carries into high school. Um, we've had kids that have not behaved well after school. And then when you get to high school, you're not permitted to stay for events either. And you know what? That's the fun stuff. It's great to stay after, cheer on our teams, um, and get to see some of these events. So hold it together. You know better. You know better, Crossroads South. Speaking of that, make sure our hallways are excellent. And sixth grade, I'm giving you this warning now. We've had a couple of issues with phones. I'm going to remind you, you do not have a phone at school. That is not part of a school material. You bring them. I understand your parents want to know that you've gotten here on the bus. They want to know that you're home safely. But I see lots of sixth grade phones here in my office, and that is absolutely unacceptable. There is no reason for you to have your phone on you or be on your phone at all during the school day. Um, and you're running the risk of have, losing it for the entire sixth grade. Seventh grade, you know you went through that last year. And eighth grade, I shouldn't have to say anything to you. So just a reminder, bring your own device is about bringing an actual laptop computer, not having your phone there, and then arguing with an adult. Put it away. I don't want to be in a place where they're banned from the school, which could happen. It's happened before. All right. So those are a couple of reminders. Um, I did tell you that there's a surprise on Thursday. And here's the surprise. Here's the hint I want to give you on Thursday. Um, there is a recent holiday tradition. And when I say recent, I'm really talking in the last like 10, 15 years where um, there's something that moves around and you have to find it. And yeah, that's the only clue I'm going to give you. So just keep that in mind and that'll be on Thursday. And uh, tomorrow I'll give you another clue. Um, Wednesday tomorrow is our winter concert for choir. So again, during HAP and rehearsals, make sure that tomorrow you are where you need to be choir. I can't wait to hear you perform. That concludes the morning announcements. Please stand for the salute to our flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. You may be seated. Have a wonderful day, Crossroads. Make it tropical.